Given that this is the smallest Ryzen 7840U powered mini PC on the market, seeing the kind of performance we're getting here in SteamOS is pretty amazing. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at SteamOS on the world's smallest Ryzen 7000 series powered mini PC. Obviously what we have here is a real Steam Deck. It's the Steam Deck OLED, but right underneath it we've got the smallest 7840U powered mini PC to date, known as the EM780. Just to give you an idea, this is a palm-sized PC with 32 gigabytes of LP DDR5 at 6400 megatransfers per second. Got some really awesome I.O. here. The APU itself runs at up to 35 watts. And recently on the channel, we took a look at it running Windows, but I had a lot of people asking about SteamOS or a similar operating system to kind of get that Steam Deck interface. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here today. So this is the EM780. Up front, we've got a USB 4 port and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Moving over to the side, we've got a micro SD card slot and USB 3.2. And around back, full-size HDMI, two more USB 3.2 ports, and another USB 4, which actually acts as our power in. Last year, Minisform released a mini PC that was very similar to the one we're taking a look at in this video. That one... Last year, last year, Minisform released a mini PC that's very similar to the EM780. That was known as the EM680. It actually turned out to be my favorite mini PC of 2023. Sparred by Ryzen 7 6800U, and it's one that I always carried around with me. Great little machine. But with the EM780, we've got a heck of an upgrade because they took it from the 6800U up to the Ryzen 7 7840U. So we've got eight Zen 4 cores, 16 threads, a base clock of 3.3 gigahertz with a boost up to 5.1, that built-in AMD Radeon 780M iGPU based on RDNA 3. This will clock up to 2700 megahertz and we've got 12 compute units here with this. As far as I can tell right now, they're only offering one RAM variant when it comes to this. You can actually opt for different storage, but this has 32 gigabytes of LP DDR5 at 6400 megatransfers per second. We've also got a one terabyte M.2 SSD. It actually uses a 2230, the same size as the Steam Deck. Now, while uh, getting in here, I'm actually running this operating system from an external drive. I didn't want to reflash the SSD in here, but you could always do that if you want to. Personally, I like setting it up on an external drive. That way I can move it from PC to PC. But you know, if you're going to pick one of these up specifically for a SteamOS style operating system, then you just might want to install it on the internal drive. And of course, Valve hasn't released an official SteamOS build for anything but the Steam Deck yet, so we're not using official SteamOS on this. I'm actually using one of my favorite operating systems right now, known as Chimera OS. We've got everything that the Steam Deck has built in right here, ready to go. We've also got a full desktop interface that we can access at any time, turning this into a little work machine, school PC, and especially a super mini gaming machine. Now going into this with the operating system, I didn't have to do any kind of configuration. We've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth, I've got my controller connected as a Bluetooth controller right now. And uh, TDP control, GPU drivers, everything's working here with the 7840U in this EM780. And performance is awesome. Now it would be nice to be able to take the wattage up on this mini PC, but unfortunately it's kind of locked down and we've got to boost up to 35 watts. At least that's what I can tell right now. I've kind of been doing some calculations with SteamOS. I know for a fact in Windows, it does boost up to 35 every once in a while. And yeah, it is drawing a lot more energy than the Steam Deck does, but we don't have to worry about a battery because we've got a desktop PC. This is going to be plugged into the wall. Now, you could run this off of a PD battery if you wanted to. I've actually done it in the past with the EM680. But for this here, I'm using the stock 65 watt power supply and I've got it plugged into my 27 inch 1080p gaming monitor. And yeah, this little thing can game. So I want to get right into it. Then we're going to move over to my game capture so we can get a better look at everything. But here's Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm at 900p low settings and uh, performance is really good here. I like turning on V-Sync with this game, especially with iGPUs. So uh, we could go over 60 a little bit every once in a while. But as you can see, we've got a pretty steady frame rate here. It's not too bad, really playable. And one of the main things I always recommend with these AMD mini PCs is using a monitor that supports free sync or variable refresh rate. That way you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, screen tearing or anything like that if you're going under that 60 or 120, depending on what kind of system you're running it on. Not everybody is into Linux gaming or a SteamOS interface here, 
But personally, I think this would be perfect sitting on the mantle in the living room. I mean, you've got a very small PC here. You can play your favorite AAA games. Of course, you're not gonna be able to go up to 4K on this thing. But given the form factor and power draw, I think we're seeing some really great performance here. And I've got a lot of other games that I wanna test out but I just wanted to show you this real quick. And now what I'm gonna do is plug this into my game capture, talk a little bit about the operating system, and then we'll move back into some more gaming. Okay, so getting in just a bit closer here, I did try to adjust the TDP using the simple Ryzen TDP application that you can install with Chimera OS. Unfortunately, it's not working, so we are right there at you know a boost up to 35 watts. It's kind of locked down from the BIOS. Not exactly sure how to change this, but you know, we are working with a smaller system here. And at 35 watts, we're still seeing some really good performance. Give you a look real quick. Settings, system. So we've got that Ryzen 7 7840U. Uh, this does have that 32 gigs of LP DDR5 at 6400 mega transfers per second and the 780M iGPU. I've dedicated eight gigabytes of VRAM from the BIOS. And uh, overall, not a bad little system here. With Chimera OS, we do have access to basically everything we would with the Steam Deck, except for TDP control from over here. This just isn't gonna work. You see, it only goes up to 15 watts, but uh, we can do system-wide FSR, variable refresh rate, HDR, allow tearing, half rate shading, and with this, we also have a desktop interface that we can access from power, switch to desktop. We've taken a real close look at this in the past. But uh, given how small this thing is, I want to show you what we can really do with this. And yeah, I mean, it's putting out much better performance than I ever thought it would, given that we're working with the super tiny PC here. Here we have The Witcher 3, 1080p with a low medium mix. I did have to turn some of these settings down. I've got a little bit of FSR going uh, with the newer update to The Witcher 3. We do have access to that resolution scale, but on most of the stuff that I've tested it with, we're seeing some really good performance. And of course I do have VSync turned on here, but with the EM780, this game is fully playable. Now I want to move over to something a bit older just to see what we can get out of these old Valve Source games. Uh, Half-Life 2, Portal 2, here's Left 4 Dead 2. We're at very high settings, 1080p, and I'm getting an average of around 228 FPS, which is more than enough. And if you needed a little more out of this, you could always take those settings down to medium or even go down to 900p. I still think a game like this looks great at 900p, and I wouldn't mind playing it like that all day. Street Fighter 6, 1080p, low settings. This game does work really well on the 7840U, and as you can see, we are at 60 FPS. Getting two players on the couch with this is nice, and just like all of the stuff we're gonna be taking a look at, taking the resolution down and upping the settings is also gonna work. It's really up to you in the end. But uh, yeah, I mean, Street Fighter 6, not a problem to play it on this mini PC. I also tested Horizon Zero Dawn. I just used the built-in benchmark. We're at 1080p medium settings or original settings, and I do have FSR set to balance. On most other systems with the 7840U, we can actually up that wattage more than 35 and see an average higher than we're seeing here. Because with this, we got an average of 62, which is, you know, over 60, not too bad, but it would have been nice to take this up into the 70s on average. And finally, we've got Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p, low, FSR set to performance. We're seeing an average on this of 64, and usually when I test this on a mini PC with that 7840U, we can take it up to, you know, 50 to 60 watts. We're up there around 75 on average in Linux with Cyberpunk 2077. We're not that far off, and you know, I'm not going to complain about it because we are working with a super small form factor PC. This thing fits in the palm of your hand and can play Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p, given we are at low with some FSR, but it's still really, really impressive. Personally, I'm really impressed by what the EM780 can do, whether it be Windows or Linux. We've got that kind of lock up to 35 watts here. It's kind of a hard lock. I really haven't found a way around it. Now, I do think that the built-in cooler with the fan turned up a bit could handle more than 35, but I think the manufacturer kind of locked it there just to be safe. And at 35 watts, you saw what this thing can do with Linux. Now, if you're interested in checking out what this thing can do with Windows, I'll leave a link for that video down below.
And I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, what do you think about the performance this little thing's putting out, given the form factor? That's one thing you really got to consider here. An Xbox controller is actually larger than the EM780, and I think that's absolutely incredible. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning a little more about this mini PC, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.